Welcome back to Tropical, guys! Whoa, well, it's getting exciting now, because we're coming to the uh, right to the end of the Cold War. We're just about to move into modern times, but there's a couple of things that we need to do just before we move into modern times. Now, uh, cash is not good at the moment, because the rebels managed to take out one of our car plants. So I've just paused it while we've still got some cash. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some car plants uh, down by the docks. Uh, but I think probably here for this this one and uh, we're going to get four car plants going I'm going to demolish this one get it down by the docks it'll be much more efficient and hopefully that should put us into like a really good position with the cash so I what I'm hoping is that once I get these in that they will actually bloom and build because I'm still having problems which I'll show you right let's pop that one in good right let's crank this up because I want to charge through this if I can. Now let me show you, right, look, this um, waste treatment plant still isn't building. And uh, there's another one there, and that one's not doing anything. And um, where's the other one? I'll put one over here as well. Oh, there it is. I've gone blind. Uh, so, yeah, you can see we're having some real problems with these blooming things. And uh, and without that extra car plant, our cash is kind of just like yo-yoing up and down at the moment. So we really need to get this one built. Let's put that on high priority. See if the guys will get a move on and get it built. Come on, guys. Build, build, build. Right, now, a couple of other things that I wanted to do. Um, but, but I do need some cash before I can do it. I want to... I want to put a couple of roads in, but... Oh, come on, guys. Will you please build? i got to say, this building bug is um, is a bit of a pain. Right, that one has actually got built. Now, let's crank this up. Yeah, that puts them up to rich. Okay, good. Right, I'm happy with that. But these... Right, that one's starting to get built now. The question is, will they complete? They seem to sit there for ages, not doing anything. And um, this steel plant, I've noticed, is a bit erratic. It's not getting its iron. Let's have a quick, um, yeah, let's have a quick look at the trade. So iron, We've got four ships bringing in iron. You know what? We can add a ship to that. Coal. Let's bring in another one. And bauxite. Add another ship to that. Cool. How are we doing for corn? I'm going to add another ship bringing some extra corn. Because I noticed. Um, let's get rid of that. Because I noticed that these two farms are not producing. They haven't got any corn. Now I think that's probably more a Teamsters issue than it is a lack of corn. But... Um, We'll see. We'll see. Right, that's producing, which is good. We really need this thing to get built. Come on! Build it, guys. As soon as that gets built, because we're, we're... I mean, we are... We do jump up to into, into profit situations. But um, it kind of... It's like really yo-yoing at the moment. If we get this thing built, that yo-yoing will, st will, will stop largely. And... Um, We'll be in a really good position. Okay, elections. Who are we going to go with? I'm, you know, I'm going to go with Placido. Keep those mines going as long as we can. Right, we're jumping up again and down again. It's just that yo-yoing until this thing gets built. Come on. 80%. The, it, it's so slow. There's definitely something wrong. And it's not like we've got a lot building. You know, I mean, look, this thing's still, still not built. This one down here, still not built. Don't know what's going on with those guys. I really don't. Okay, well, it's what it is. It's what it is. You going any further? No, it's still sitting at 80%. And this steel mill's not producing iron again. Hopefully adding that extra ship. We'll, uh, we'll fix that problem. I mean, it, 
It certainly shouldn't be a Teamsters issue. I am so furious. Ah, and the rebels are attacking. Right, we've got a bit of cash at the moment. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop in another vehicle factory while we've got the cash there so that it gets building. Now, have I got enough money to hook a road up? <laughs> oh, man. Please let me have a little bit of road. Yeah, I think we just got enough. Let's pop the road out to there. Cool. Right, let's crank that up again. And we'll make this high priority as well. Oh, come on, guys. You've only got 20% to go. Get it built. This is, this is kind of stressing me out. Please get it built. All right. So um, let me tell you what I'm going to do as soon as um, we get a little bit of... Oh, you know what? There, there we go. Just pause that for a second. I'm just going to pop a road in. And just because of the traffic on this little section here, which is a bit sticky. Oh, don't kind of like it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run a road like up here and I'm going to try and lose as little of these farms as I can. Oh, will you will you hook up? No, it won't. Will you, will you, sometimes it'll do if you go the other way. No, it won't. Oh, you pain you. That's try that again let's just put it on slow right let's try that again so let's leave an extra one right now I can do it cool and then we'll run this road up I think I'm just I was going to hook it up to there but I think I'm just going to hook it up to there I don't think it's going to make like short short junk short spaces between junctions is kind of not good though um Let's put it up to the... Oh, oh you... Seriously? Man. You need... I think you need, like, three squares of space in order to get it to like, hook up right. So we just lose that little corner, which isn't going to cause us too many problems. Cool. So we've now got this row. Oh, you know what? I got this end wrong because I want that to hook up to this. Yeah, I might leave that and just see how it is. Uh, and if it's if it's causing problems, then I'll I'll delete this park and just curve this road round. I should, you know, I really should have planned these roads out a little bit better, shouldn't I? I could, I, you know, like I could maybe get that straight, I mean, like turn these plantations around or something, but we're not going to do that. Right, let's go and have a look and see if these factories... Right, this is almost built now. What are you up to? 93. Come on! Let's crank this right up. But we are getting into... We, I mean, we are making a profit at the moment. Um, just quite slowly. Right, that's getting... Go oh, right, there we go. Finally, it gets built. Good. And the people pile in, because we've got workers. We have an opportunity to influence the outcome. Oh, the okay, we've got an election. We can win without cheating. We've got up at 75%. We, it seems to be consistently between like 70 to 80% with the approval, which is you know, pretty good. This is almost built. 97. Yeah, we won the election with 75% of the... 74% of the vote, which is very cool. Okay. Right, this has got bauxite, it's got steel, and it's producing cars. Excellent. Right. And this one's built now. And people are piling in, and very soon we should get some bauxite and steel, and that'll be producing. Right, uh, super weapon. I'm going to keep it for myself and get plus 10 relations for US and USSR. Sweet. Oh, I think this one's... Yeah, this one's starting to make a profit. And our cash now is going to be, like, so, so much better. Now, I'm going to move that one. We're going to have two over here. Right, we've got cash. So let's get it built. Right, so vehicle factory. 
at there. Cool. And as soon as we've got cash, I'm going to bang another one in behind here, and then I'm going to demolish this one. And it's amazing how, you know, just two or three buildings, or even one building, can be the difference between making, like, literally tons of cash and not really very much at all. It looks like our construction workers are actually getting on the ball again, which is good news. Let's go and have a look. How are you, how are you d doing? Are you, you both got stuff? Yeah, loads. Yeah, loads right there, both outputting. Need a few more people to max out. That should happen pretty darn quickly. Come on. Come on. Yes! See, that got built really quick. Oh, maybe maybe this problem is going away. That would be good news. Or, you know, I maybe this little traffic snarl down here is, um, is a bit worse than I thought. I mean, it's which is possible. It's possible. Maybe it was having more an impact. Just releasing some of the traffic along this road uh, is probably going to help a lot. I'm seriously thinking about changing this road, though, to smooth it out as much as possible. I'm, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Why the hell not? I'm not doing anything else. Come on. Thank you. So, we get rid of that part. Get rid of that part. Get rid of this section of road. And then we'll curve this round onto there. Right, that makes things just a little bit smoother. And um, it's surprising what an impact you know, just having something like that can have on your traffic. Because, like, just something as simple as changing that can make this a much more attractive route. You get a few more cars onto here and suddenly the traffic on here isn't an issue. So, I would really suggest like pay attention to your your road junctions and stuff. Try and smooth it out as much as you can. Yeah, see we're getting more traffic on this road now and this one's easing up a bit. Okay, that's good. That's well that's very good actually. Right, how are we doing? Now we need to put in um, some power over here, because we don't have any, so we'll put in a substation. I'm gonna put in a substation. Uh, yeah, let me put the other factory in first so that I get this in the right place. Because I really don't want to waste like 35,000. Right, let's spin this baby around. Pop him in there. Then we'll go to the electricity substation. Bang him in there, get rid of that shack at the same time. Good, sweet. Right, that I'm going to quick build. Because I want this thing producing as quickly as possible. Right, so we've got people, we've got steel and bauxite, and any second now we should start to see... Yeah, there we go, cars. Good, good, good. This one's building. Right, this is full of people. How are we doing for people in the other two? Couple short in that one. Oh, and an autosave. Thank you very much. Come on. And this one, a couple of short in that one. So I think now is the time to get rid of this. One thing that I, I kind of haven't figured out is how to save the, the resources that are inside. I don't know whether it like automatically ships them out or something. But we've got like tons of cars in there as well. See, the, the ones over here are going to get shipped out like so much quicker. Building them over here was kind of a dumb move, to be absolutely honest. I've come to I've come to that conclusion with reflection with hindsight I've decided that was kind of crazy I like I don't know I think I was trying to do some kind of aesthetic thing you know have a big development over here but it kind of just doesn't make sense it makes way more sense to have your in industry down by the docks which is kind of like, well which is what I've been saying like all along so I should have just listened to myself. How's this one doing? Right, now we're a little bit short of people, so this one's got to go. Yeah, let's just get rid of you. And then those people will go and work in these other ones, which means that these will be working at um, full pelt. They'll be churning them out, maximum efficiency. Right, so we've one missing in there, one missing in there. Two 
and two. Right, yeah. Well, with, with the with the extra people from that one that we just demolished, these should be um, up to max. Cool. And look, we're already up to 150,000. It, like I said, it's amazing what you know a couple of buildings can do to your. Look at this. Now we're starting to fly. And this is what I wanted sort of moving into modern times because as we move into modern times um, it then I want to start really getting to grips with like the aesthetics I want to try and make this like a pretty island because um, we've we've done the the economy now we've done the politics you know we've done all the we've, we've pretty much done all the mechanics this this one's still complaining about corn so now it's time to get into it, like if we can if we can do all of that on the hardest settings then now it's about making it look nice and i'm I, i've got some ideas about putting you know like double roads with parks in between and you know creating the like really nice estates for the high wealth put it in swimming pools and stuff like that. I mean, because there are some really nice buildings, you know, these cathedrals and things, and there are some really nice parks. I think we can make this look nice, because at the moment, I don't, I mean, this is okay, you know, but I don't think, I don't think we've made the most of it. Although, I've got to say, this is not the most attractive island, you know. It's this is designed for a for a, a four player multiplayer game, and for that it's perfect. But kind of for what for what we want, it's not really perfect. There are some much prettier islands around. So I think what we might do is um oh yeah, here's the rebels again. Um, what we might do is um, do a bit in modern times. D you know, lay some ideas down, right? See what we can do here. And then seriously think about just jumping to another island. Start off in modern times with some cash. Because we know that we can get to modern times with a bunch of cash. Uh, and then do something pretty. And maybe try some different political ideas. I, re I, like, I really want to do a, a real military dictatorship. You know, uh, but like North Korea style. Oh, and there are our fighter jets coming in. Taking out the rebels. We've got lots of troops. So I don't think we've got any issues. Right, we're up to a quarter of a million. Right, you know what? Let's do it. Let's um, let's crank this up. Um, now, these two red these two red tasks. One will be for a nuclear program. One will be for a space program. Residente. This one is the nuclear program, and this one is the space program. And you just got to build one of them, and you're into modern times. So I'm going to do the space program. I think. Yeah, we'll do the space program. Um, it's simply because I don't have any uranium at the moment. Now, we've got a couple of uranium mines. There's one there. Yeah, there's a uranium deposit. And there's one... This is a uranium... Yeah. So we've got a couple of uranium deposits, but I kind of... Well... I'm going to hang hang back on that, I think. We've actually got tons of power at the moment. We've got... Um, oh, you know what? We did have... that. This was up to 2400, so obviously we're... Yeah, we're missing one or two people. Okay, no biggie. Right, let's put a road in. I'm going to put a road in. Down here. Down to there. And will you hook up to there? Yeah, it will. Cool. Wow, that was easy. Right. That means this will go wrong. Um, right, we want to put in a space program. I was thinking of putting it, like, up here in this corner. Have the rockets going up and you've got all the power over here. I thought that would, might look quite cool. Right. Um, now, I could just quick build this, to be honest. But, you know what, I'm going to stick it... Our, our construction workers have been a little bit better. And uh, while that's building, our cash is cranking up. So, we just spent 63. We're up with... Yeah, here we go. Be nice to kind of move into the next era with like half a million in the bank. That would be kind of nice. Our approval's good. Let's just have a quick look at the at the population. We've got 25 open jobs, 34 unemployed. That's looking good. Homeless. I'm going to look to see what we can do about homeless 
uh, when we're into modern times. And we'll upgrade the apartments and do all of those kind of things and see if we can um, improve our approval rating. Yeah, uh, You know what? That would be fun. I'd like to see if we could get our approval rating up to 100%. I've had it look like in, in the 90s. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Right, we've got an objective, guys. Get into modern times. Get an approval rating of 100%. See if we can get the uh, the homeless down to, to zero. That, that's going to be a challenge for me. Big time. I'm, I'm thinking about extending this road down to here. Yeah, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to do it. It's not that fun with this. Uh, why won't you... Oh, because I've got it on. Pause. What? Okay. Oh, blocked by another road. What the hell was that? What is going on here? Okay, well, let's... I, I think it's just this that's the causing the problem. Yeah, right, so let's... Run this down... Uh, there and oh, it's going to be awkward. It's going to be awkward. Yep, there and oh man, it's not going to go. There's a little cliff there. Didn't didn't see that. All right, no problem. Let's just go back a little bit. Yeah, to there, and then we'll just yeah, we'll just hook it up there, I guess. Yeah, that that will have to do. But that gives like if we've got corn coming into these docks, and I don't know whether we have. Um, that's shipping out. Yeah, see, we've got some corn here. Maybe that'll make it a bit easier for them to ship the corn up here. Oh, and boom, these guys are actually. Producing, they've actually got a bit of corn now. Oh, this one's out again. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Farming. Do I have problems with farming? Alrighty. <clears throat> so, how are we doing? Um, we're three sixty. Come on, guys, <clears throat> ship out those. I got another sore throat again today. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I'm a sick puppy. Right. Come on, guys, ship that cash out. Ship those cars. And this thing is almost built. Oh, here, we, now it's cranking up a little bit. Oh, expect lar larger rebel operations. Oh, and modern times. Sweet. Right, well, before I forget, I'm going to crank up the budget on this thing. Oh, the rebels are attacking. I'm going to crank the budget up on this thing to max, which makes them filthy rich, but, you know, I'm going to live with that. Uh, this will increase our research. Let me pause that for now. This is going to increase our, our research. And, oh, you know what? We can do cool things now, now that we're in modern times. We can crank up to robot assembly, assembly lines, which will increase the effectiveness of, of uh, our car factories, which is, um, you know, less people, more cash. Uh, agriculture vehicles, which helps to improve our plantations. We go, to be honest, I don't think we're going to be doing, like, massive amounts with plantations. I am seriously thinking about doing a touristy thing, like over here, just a little one, maybe... Kind of just a, like maybe a little bit of practice before we move to a, like a nice island. I still want to do an island that's like all tourism. That would be really cool. But um, there you go. We're into modern times. Right. Oh, we're going to crank this up now, guys. <laughs>